day three of camp ends. And this is the first time that Ruby and I are gonna have to go through this process of selecting 12 kids and turning the rest away. And it didn't take long. I think we both stepped out of the vans and he kind of looks at me and I look at Rubio and he goes, I I'm nervous. Like, wh what's going on here? Like, why am I nervous? The interview process was phenomenal. I was actually super nervous. When, I, when I'm watching these kids do these competitions, I get more nervous than they do, I swear. I get more nervous than when I actually played. Because you know, all, all 42 of them or 45 of them, they want it. They, they think, you know, they deserve it. You know, these kids really wanted top 12. Um, this means something. You know, that gold jersey um, is the equivalent to me in the kicking world of, of getting your green jacket at the Masters. You know, me and Rubio felt the pressure. And, I'm, I'm still sitting here to this minute, like debating some of my choices. I, I, I have my 12 locked in, but I'm still sitting here like, thinking to myself, did, did I make the right call? You know, I, I, I'm, I'm, right, right now, there, I have, I have a bubble of three that I, I could go either way with, and the performance today just, I don't want to say pissed me off, but showed a lot, because they were on the bubble before. And I gave about three or four kids multiple opportunities to do something, and I mean, if you, if you were with me, you would have said, come on, man, just do it. That's going to be it, man. I mean, I'm nervous. But I think it's, it's got to be this way, and I think this is what's going to make these kids better. It is what it is. This is going to make the next year's top 12 camp. Oh, my God. <laughs> Unreal. All right, Quentin. Come on in, man. Have a seat for me right there. So Quentin, we were just talking. I think me and Rubio are as, as nervous as you guys are for this process. Um, you know, obviously there's 45 guys out there and um, making top 12 is not gonna be easy. Let me ask you, how do you feel like you did this week? Uh, I didn't do my best, obviously. I mean, today I was just really tired, missing balls left and right. Um, yeah. I had a good showing on the first day. Um, missed when it mattered. Um, since then, I've just been tired, but I think I've been yeah. like working through it. Yeah. I mean, I'll tell you, Quentin, I think, you know, you're a top kicker in the country, there's no doubt. Uh, you're going to play Division One football, you're going to get a scholarship and, you know, whatever they can to help you. But I think, you know, over the course of these three days, um, it's going to be a no for us. Um, and, but again, it's not to say you're not a top 12 nationally ranked kicker. I just think you didn't have, you didn't have it this week. I totally agree. Um, and other guys did, but, you know, we, we fully support you. We look forward to helping you along your, you know, along your career. Um, you know, but it breaks my heart, man, but unfortunately it's going to be a no, okay? Yeah. Okay, man. All right, Quinn. That's it, man. Safe flights. Say goodbye to the guys out there. Thanks. And um, see you soon, okay? All right, thank you. All right, man. Okay, Quinn. I told that went that smoothly. I mean, did you think? He took it pretty well. You were, you were nervous about that one. I was very nervous. He's good? I mean, I don't know anything about He's very good. He's, we're never, we can go. He's number three in the nation. He's a kicker or a punter? He's a kicker. Number three in the country to not make it top 12. Drew Little. Yes, sir. What's going on, man? Pretty much. You know, you know Sarah, obviously. Drew, how'd you like the top 12 camp? It was an experience. I loved it. Uh, made some new friends. Quentin Skinner opened up to me, and I got to know him a little bit more. Good. Sounds more just not as quiet as I thought it'd be. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah your, your group is pretty darn good, man. I, I really like the personalities of your group. I like the way you guys snap the ball. Um, bottom line, do you feel like you deserve a top 12 shirt? Yes, sir. I, I've got nine left. Why? Because I feel like I'm one of the best in my class. My work, eh? my work ethic is incredible. I mean, I work hard. I know my size is not where it needs to be, but I feel like I snap a great ball. Mm -hmm. I mean, I feel like I'm D1 ready right now, snap tonight. I, I definitely think you're a D1 long snapper. Obviously, you have a full scholarship at NC State. Um, you rip the ball back. When you're on, you are really on. Um, the issue I had with you this Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday was you had some bad balls where you had, I, I don't like, when you're bad, when you have a bad ball, it's a bad ball. Like sure. it's heavy wobble and since you're a lefty sure. with a wobble, it's almost impossible to catch. Sure. So um, unfortunately, you're not gonna get one of these shirts this time. It was a tough decision for me, but the, the lack of spiral and I, I want the consistency for you is the biggest thing I'm looking for. So unfortunately, you're, you're not gonna get a top 12 shirt this time. Okay. Sorry about that. Here. Okay. Hey, 
He's not happy. That's not a happy kid right there. Nope. He thought he had it too. He's number three in that class. 2019s? He's a five star three. Number three, full scholarship. Church! How are you? What's going on, man? Good to see you sit down. All right, man. How you feeling? I feel good. Body feel okay? Yeah. Hips, hamstrings? Yep. How do you feel you did over these three days? Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, today, obviously the last day. Um, I feel like I improved each day. Okay. I feel like I snapped pretty good. Okay. What do you think about the fact that I have to continually tell you to keep getting your chest through? That's my problem. Okay. Yeah. How do you feel like you're doing athletic, athletically? Do you think you're improving? I feel like it's improved a lot. Okay. So you felt, do you, I mean, what do I have you ranked right now? 25. 25. Do you feel like you deserve one of these shirts? Yeah. Why? Um, I feel like, uh, I feel like the thing that's been like holding me back was like speed for a long time and athleticism, but I feel like I've improved both of those things like a lot. I would agree. Welcome to the top of all. Thank you. Congratulations, Patrucci. There you go. That's pretty good stuff. Congratulations, man. Very proud of you. And go share. Hey, <laughs> go celebrate. Get a hold of it up, man. Go celebrate. You do what you want to do, man. This is all you. This again. <coughs> Derek! Derek King. Yes! What's up? What's up, Derek? Derek. You're one of the only kickers that'll shake hands. Happy birthday, man. Thank you. Yeah, happy Sit birthday. down. Put that bag over there someplace. I like this kid. All right, Derek. Um, it's it's been a journey. You know, um, I feel like you know it, it's been it's been years we've been at this with you, and um, you know we started kind of down here, and I think that with every camp, you know, you kept bumping yourself up and bumping yourself up and bumping yourself up. And uh, you know you do both skills, which is great. I think the kicking side of things is still a little bit stronger, although I think you're going to contribute as a punter in college as well. Um, you know this is tough. I think you know selecting 12 players. We look at combo players. You look at pure punters. You look at the 2019 specialists. I think a lot of guys just look at those rankings and saying, you know, top 12 is top 12 guys, and that's just not the case. You know, I think uh, one of the most positive things I heard this week was that a couple of my college kids said, man, this guy wants to play at, at, at my school. This guy can play at my school. You know, he's that good. Um, and then today was a, was a little bit of a hiccup. You know, you, you, you missed a ball or two. You know, how, how do you feel overall that you did? I just had that one hiccup today for sure, but I think I had a pretty good camp overall. Yeah. Um, you're used to winning. You didn't, you didn't win anything this week, which, which, is, which surprises me. Um, was it pressure, you think? Or what, what do you think it was that didn't put you all the way to the very top? Maybe just lack of focus for a second, knowing that there's so much talent around me. Maybe a little bit of pressure too. Okay. Um, in your heart, do you think you're deserving of top 12? Top 12 in the entire nation, all skills. What do you think? I think maybe that should because. Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll stop you right there. It's much more than a maybe. You're someone I had no, absolutely no doubt about. Welcome to the top 12, Derek King. Congratulations, man. Thank you. Congrats, man. Good job, Derek. <laughs> I made you nervous, didn't I? A little bit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's my job. Chicago Ron. How you doing? What's going on, man? You know, Sailor? What's up, man? How you doing? All right. How'd you enjoy the week? Oh, I, I enjoyed it a lot. It was really fun. <laughs> was it what you expected? Um, it was actually more than what I expected. Didn't think I'd be like talking to as many people as I did here. Good, good, good group of kids? Yes. You meet some long kickers, too? Um, not not that many, but yeah. like there was some there was some I knew because I've seen them at previous like college camps and stuff. Yeah. So. How do you feel you did? Um, I, I feel I did rather good. Yeah. Good I, or I great? Did, I did better than I thought I would. Okay. Like uh, I went to a couple camps before. I went to Ole Miss camp before this, and I was snapping okay there, and I did way better than I thought here. Good, good, good. Good group of kids here. Yes. Um, biggest things I've always asked you to work on are what? Um, my athleticism. And. Consistent, and, I'll give you the second one. The consistency of speed. Yes. Where you have, uh, you can snap the ball very, very hard. Yes. It's smooth as hell. 
Um, I just want to see more consistency of speed. That's the big thing. Athleticism, I think you're picking up. I, I yeah, really do. I, I feel like you're really going in the right direction. Um, I, unfortunately, you're not going to get one of these shirts today. Okay. I, I just don't think the athleticism is where it needs to be yet. Um, and the consistency of speed. I mean, I just need a little bit more of getting your eyes through, getting your fingers through, and being able to move a little bit more on your feet. Because you can snap a D1 ball. There, there, I mean, there's no doubt about that. But I need to see you be able to move like a D1 athlete. Yeah. Okay? okay. So, unfortunately, no to this. Okay. Okay? Hey, your pleasure, man. Thanks. Absolute pleasure. Kid's always smiling. It's a good kid. Always He's smiling. Really good kid. Yeah. He's, if, he, if he could drop 30 to 40 pounds, yeah, he'd be he'd, he'd have a scholarship. <coughs> really? Oh yeah. He he snaps a great ball. He just can't. He's he's not really able to move well. What's up, Jake? Hey. What's going on? Man? You know Ruby over here. What's going on? How's it going? All right, Jake. Have a seat for me, real quick, please. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um. You know, you've been with us now for for four years. Uh, it's been an incredible journey, I think. Um, you know, you've impressed since day one. I think I've had you in either ranked number one near the top since day one. And with every camp you come to, you always prove it. You know, there's, there was, um, you know, most kids come to a camp like this and they shy away from competition. I, stay, I think when you come in, you still feel like there's no one here, even here that can touch you. And it's apparent in the way that you hold yourself. Um, and honestly, that's exactly what it takes to play Division One football. Um, I really don't have any questions for you. Um, this was an absolute no-brainer, Jake. Uh, very proud of what you've done and what you've accomplished. And it's only the start for you. You know, you got, you got five things. I'm very proud to give you one of these shirts here today, and, ho and hopefully you're proud to have one. And uh, we look forward to a bright future with you, Jake. Congratulations. Thank you. I appreciate me. it. Congratulations. Thank you. Okay. I appreciate it. Congrats. How's What's going on? You know Sailor, right? Hold up, Oscar. How are you? A little bit. You know. Sit down, sit down, sit down. Oscar Shadley, Virginia Tech, yes, sir. commit, number one long step for the country. Let, let's, how do you feel you did? I think I did the best in the whole entire camp. Was it close to you in your opinion? No, sir. Okay. Let's, can we talk about the bus ride this morning? <laughs> a van ride this morning? Yeah, sure. Um, we were, I was kind of lobbing up some questions to the other long steppers, and that, that, that was obviously a, a strong group as the whole camp is. And we were talking about, I, I in my opinion, I have you number one in the country. And like I told those guys, I go, it's not really that close to me in my opinion, um, because you are athletic, you can snap hard, you're strong, you have a dominant personality, um, and you're accurate. I mean, you just rip the ball through. And then today, it was almost, I was telling Sailor, like someone bit the big dog's Achilles, Achilles and kind of, they <laughs> smelled some blood, and then whoo, they jumped all over you. Yeah. How'd that make you feel, man? I mean, people were entitled to their opinions, so it didn't really bother me that much. I mean, it you bothered know, you, man. I looked at you. I oh, could look, yeah. I could look in the mirror, and it, you, I, I couldn't tell if you were going to cry or if you were not, but like not tears of like sadness, but like tears of, oh, are they kidding? Are oh, they, no, like, you look pissed. I, I, I was. I mean, I sort of use it as fuel, that, like for today. And, that, and that's what I was yeah, telling. I was like, talking to the cameraman after I go, did you see Oscar? Because I mean, you, they were going, and I kind of let them go a little bit longer than I maybe could, should have. But then, because I, I know how you are, and I know how it builds, mm -hmm. and it's almost like the, the angrier you get, or the more determined you get, the better you snap. Like when we saw the FBU Top Gun Camp, when you were in the finals, I was telling you that was one of the most dominant performances I've ever seen in a human being. I mean, your ball was getting faster, stronger, and more accurate. It was almost unfair. Mm -hmm. And so do you feel like that, that's, you did that today? Yeah, I do. You know, when, when everyone was starting to talk, I was like, all right, we'll see when we get on the field today. You know, I think that showed. Yeah, I, I would one billion percent agree. You were one of the absolute no-brainers to get one of these shirts, and I, I don't even need to beat around the bush. Congratulations, man! You, you Thank deserve you this. Very proud of you. Congratulations, Thank you. brother. Very proud of you. Keep up the good work. Congrats, man. Thank you. It's awesome. Thank you, brother. I don't, don't want to hear it. You want one? No. There they are. Hi. What's up, guys? What's up, Charles? How much? How are you? Good. Evan? Hey, how are you? Right, man, you guys know Ruby over here? Yeah. What's going on, man? Hey, man, too. How are you going? So, guys, man, it's, uh, it's been a journey, right? I think uh, I've known you guys both for, for a very long time. Um, seen you guys progress from being kind of the young kickers at camp to kind of being the standouts and the studs out there. Um, 
think the battle for number one is has been heated for a while. You know, Evan, Evan, you've been there for some time, and Charles, you keep kind of making your way up there, and you're, real, you're getting real close. Uh, how'd you guys feel about camp? How'd you feel like you did, Evan? Kind of was, start to finish on the three days. How'd you feel like you did? Yeah, I feel like I started strong, you know, and then the last day is kind of, it was a bummer for me, you know, to get yeah. out so quick, but I mean, overall, I think I did good. Okay, and Charles? I mean, I feel like my first day, I did pretty good. I was hitting pretty well. Uh -huh. My second day, I didn't feel like I did as good as I could at all. And then today, I feel like I did pretty good. Yeah, I would say so with, with, winning, yeah. with winning the whole thing, right? Yeah, so I feel like, yeah. Okay. Well, uh, another question for you guys is, what did you enjoy most about the camp? What, what was the one thing that kind of stood out to you that, you know, maybe not necessarily on the field, but just kind of the whole camp experience? What did you enjoy most about the camp? Just hanging out with all these great kickers. Yeah. And snappers. Uh -huh. And snappers, my bad. Uh -huh. Great kickers and snappers, and it's just great experience, you know. And, I mean, this won't be the last time we see them, you know. We'll see them college games and everything. So. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I mean, I agree with that. And like last night, just with all the guys, it's so much fun. I mean, like, I feel like kickers like like my best friends, you know. Yeah. Like, it's just so much fun. Like, yeah. Getting to know everyone more, like more and more. Yeah. And snappers. And snappers, and snappers. Are my best friends. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you, you know, when when college coaches talk to us and they kind of ask you know questions about prospects and um, you know kind of they want the full package. You know, they want guys that successful on the field. You know, um, hard workers. You know, character that stands behind them. Um, you know, guys that can handle you know the mental the mental pressure of the next level. Guys that make the locker room better. Um, you know, you two guys are, are guys we 100% back. You know, you guys for this long. Um, you know, I trust you guys to date my own daughter. You know, that's how that's how much I trust in what you guys are able to do. Um, and it, again, you know, it's, it, it, it's, I'm proud to announce you guys as, as top 12 members. The both the both of you guys. Um, no, both of them? No, the both of them. No brainer in my opinion. Um, hope you guys wear these shirts with with pride as well and yes, carry on the tradition, right? Yes, sir. All right, man. Congratulations right, to both of you guys. You. Congrats. Thank you so much. This is fine. Huh? It's fine. Yeah, it'd be nice for the brawl for the round. Last two already? You got two or three. I've got two. I should have Pew and Evan DeBorchik. Evan. What's going on, man? You? You know Sailor? You, yeah. Evan. Evan. All right. I'm doing great. Sit down, guys. Sit down. Scoot that way a little bit, Evan. All right. The last two. Scoot that way a little, Evan. Okay. One shirt left. All right. You guys okay? Yes, sir. <laughs> Breathe. All nervous? Just a little bit. Okay. What are you guys nervous about? I'm not nervous. I'm excited. <laughs> what are you excited about? I think I just had a great, my best camp so far, and I know that I did the best I can do. If I need to work on it, I'll keep working. Even though I give the shirt, I'll still keep working on it because you can never be perfect. You know? Okay, Evan. I just feel like I've spent a lot of time in perfecting my craft, and you know, I spend a, all a lot of time on doing a lot of things to help me get better. And you know, all the uh, criticism you've given me, the, um, constructive criticism, <laughs> has helped me. You know, you. One of the biggest things you've said for me is work on my athleticism. That's something I've kind of taken heart and on in the gym now. I'm working, I'm trying to get faster, lighter on my feet, get stronger, bigger, you know, get ready for the next level. And I feel like, you know, for this camp, you know, I put a lot into it, so, you know. No, I definitely, you, 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 you can tell you both have not rested on laurels. You both have worked your tails off. Um, you both have worked harder and worked smarter, which, you know, I'm a big guy on that one. Um, I thought you guys did very, very well. Um, I thought you had some great balls, and then you had some bad balls. I thought you had some great balls, some good balls, and some bad balls. Um, I thought your ball was nice and accurate and consistent. I thought your ball it was consistent and powerful. Um, obviously, there's only one shirt left. Uh, this is extremely hard for me to do. Um, I, I, you know, I, if I, I'd love to be able to get both of you shirts. I just can't do it. Um, this is, you're both going to be able to play college football, no doubt in my mind. Last top 12 shirt goes to Gabriel Peel. Good job, man. Hey, you deserve it. You deserve it. Good job, man. Good job. Thank you, Gabriel. You can breathe now. Thank okay. you so much. <laughs> okay, that's it. Only a single. We'll get you a double. I'm assuming you can't fit in the vent. Oh, I can fit in it. Trust me. Show okay. off the, the muscles of the chest. <laughs> okay, go ahead and put it on. Put it on. 
and then we'll send you one with your name and stuff on it. The top 12 goes in the front. Congratulations. Thank you, guys. All right, you guys are out of here. Good job, guys. Congrats, guys. Thank you, I'll the work. Thank you so Good job, man. Thank you. That is a wrap. Oh, <laughs> Those last two are the best. Yeah. Um, it's difficult. It's difficult to, to uh, you know, to, to make kids, you know, unhappy, I guess. Um, you know, to see kids walk out of the door upset or, or sad. You never want to give someone bad news, man. You never want to do that. And they come in, and you can see they're pumped. We had the yellow shirts or the gold shirts literally right in front of them. And you have to tell them, you did this well, you did this wrong, you did this well, you did this wrong. No, man, you, you, didn't, you didn't get it. And you can just almost see their, their posture just from here to. But in the end, you know, we did this because we feel like um, to create that kind of competition, to put kids under that emotional stress, uh, you know, to give them the yes and the joy and, and um, you know, kind of the, the, um, the final cherry on top of the Sunday for them to say that, you know, I've kind of hit the peak of high school football is, is just awesome. And in the same breath, I think even getting the no is, is okay. Uh, we really feel like uh, it, it's, gonna, it's gonna create men and those men are gonna bump the college numbers up. And in the process, when that happens, we're gonna bump the level of the NFL up. And that's the whole goal of the Top 12 Web Series is to put kickers, to put punters, to put long snappers on the map, um, to up the level and get ourselves in the same conversations as wide receivers or DBs, um, because I think we're that valuable. The format and uh, you know, bringing 45 guys in, having them challenge for the 12 spots, I think up the level of, uh, of competition and made these kids better.